Madison Cawthorn is called a rising star in the Republican Party. Um, he was at CPAC. He gave an interview, and this little portion sort of blew up for obvious reasons. So what type of ammunition? What would be the number one, number two talking points that you would encourage them to well, use at home to take back their cities? Biggest one is I would encourage people, don't look at the person, look at the policies. Uh, you know, there's a lot of people who are, you know, that, that might, you know, Barack Obama, an incredible speaker, made you feel like you wanted to go grab a beer with the guy. It's fantastic. But then you look at his policies, like, you are a, you're a communist. There you go. You want to, you're a globalist. You want to just have all power concentrated into the top 1% of the 1% of the 1% and take all rights away from everybody else. And so... Don't look at the person, look at the policies, because right now what's at stake is the future for the next generation, and stop sending cookie-cutter politicians to Washington, D.C. that have pleated pants and tasseled loafers. But, and, and now they're starting to talk about going door-to-door -to, -door to be able to take vaccines to the people. It, the, think about the mechanisms they would have to build to be able to actually execute that massive of a thing. And then think about the, what those mechanisms could be used for. They could then go door-to-door -door, take your guns. They could again it, go door-to-door -door, -door, take your Bibles. Yeah. And so it's a uh, serious. And, brother, I've got to get backstage. But, yeah, man, I absolutely appreciate it. I look forward it. to being on your show uh, another time. Yeah. Imagine thinking Joe Biden is going to take guns or Bibles. Yeah, that guy's going to do gun or Bible confiscation. I, I find this stuff incredible. First of all, Joe is a religious man himself. He's Catholic. Catholic is under the branch of Christianity. So, in theory, he believes in the Bible. You know, his religion nominally believes in the Bible. Why would he confiscate Bibles? Why would he do that? Even on the gun front. The Democrats have been very upfront and honest about the things that they support. And, you know, the strongest pieces of legislation that you'd ever see from Democrats is like ban on just assault weapons, um, ban on high capacity magazines, universal background checks, things of that nature. Things that will still, I mean, we have hundreds of millions of guns in this country and most of them would be totally left alone. And it, by the way, none of the, the regulations are retroactive. So it's not like hey, we're going to ban assault weapons, and so if you already have them, we're going to, try, we're going to like come and take them from your home. No, it would be from here on out. They can't sell them anymore. But I don't even think they're going to be able to do that. So this conversation is null and void. It's a moot point. Like, none of that's going to happen. But this is what I'm talking about. These people live in a fantasy world. I have a thousand criticisms of Joe Biden, and I voice them on the show every day. But look at the kind of criticisms coming from the right. Oh, because they want everybody to get vaccines... That same program used to vaccinate people is going to be used or can be used for gun confiscation or Bible confiscation. It's so absurd, the thought that it ever crossed his mind is pathetic. Never mind the fact he actually said it. He said the words out loud. Embarrassing. And then I find it hilarious that he says, look, my advice to everybody is don't look at the person, look at the policies. Because I agree with that. But then he goes on to not mention any policies. What does he say? Obama's a communist. Barack Obama is a communist. Barack Obama. The private sector grew under his presidency. He created a lot of private sector jobs. Government actually shrank under his presidency. He didn't nationalize dick. He didn't give, you know, workers the means of production. On what planet is he a communist? These people are so disconnected from reality. It's unbelievable. And then he, his reasoning, by the way, is, oh, he's a communist because he wants to grow the 1% and give the, all the power to the 1% of the 1% of the 1%. And what do you think Trump did? I mean, Trump, his biggest legislative accomplishment was a tax cut bill where 83% of the benefits go to the top 1% in the long run. By the way, I'm not, even, I'm not even arguing that Obama didn't help the 1%. He did help the 1%. But number one, that doesn't make him a communist. Number two, the Republicans are just as bad, if not worse, when it comes to serving the 1%. Who are you kidding? Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Rising star. Rising star in the Republican Party. A guy who completely talks out of his ass and says insane things. I don't understand how this has appeal to anybody. I don't get it. You know, even this, he's supposed to be part of the new, like, populist right or whatever. Well, I'm going to take a page from your book, Madison. I'm going to look at the policies. I'm not going to look at the individual. So Josh Hawley, who's supposed to be like the leader of this populist right, you know, resurgence or whatever. He wasn't even for a $15 minimum wage. 
populist right my ass cheeks. He's not even for $15 minimum wage. He's not even for the PRO Act, which is pro-union legislation. He's supported, like, different right-to-work laws, which is anti-union legislation. You're not populist if you're not for raising the minimum wage and you're not for unions. You're not populist. So, when you look at the policies, there are no elected populist right people. So, this is... Ugh. Frustrating. And, um... We're gonna have to deal with this guy for however many decades, which is annoying.